Hi, I'm Brandon LaBeouf with No Attack Firearms Training in New Orleans, Louisiana. Anyone who's an avid shooter, armed professional, or conscientious consumer has probably heard of Raven Concealment Systems whenever the topic of Kydex holsters comes up. These guys are where it's at right now for those looking for a concealment or operational Kydex kit. I am fortunate enough to be the owner of a few pieces of gear from their Phantom and Phantom LC line that I purchased after being introduced to it by some fellow instructors. All right, first up is going to be their Phantom LC. LC denoting light capable, meaning it's designed for a handgun that has a permanently mounted light on, on it. This one is for a Glock 19 with a TLR1, and it has the Kydex belt loops. Here I have one that's for a Glock 19 without a light, which would be just a Phantom, and it's currently wearing their rubber inside the waistband belt straps. This one simply slides in behind the belt. Straps go under the belt. Snap into place. And then of course either concealed or unconcealed. Pretty slick, still got a good bit of retention, a good bit of positive retention. Of course, as Kydex does, it maintains its shape for a good one-handed draw. And then easy on, easy off, about the snaps, whole holster comes out. Along with holsters, they're also going to have a full line of ammunition carriers. Here we have a double, double stack magazine, of course also for 1911 or any other single stack magazines, and rifle magazines. This one is for a P-Mag, designed to be carried, rounds back to facilitate a beer cane grip, although it actually does hold it either way. A little more positive lock on the rounds to the rear, however, in a pinch it will snag it pretty good rounds forward. If you go to their website, you'll see what they refer to as an MD cut. That MD stands for Magpul Dynamics. If you're familiar with Magpul Dynamics, you know Travis Haley, Chris Costa, Michael Lavelle have very specific ways that they run their gear, and they obviously run a lot of Raven concealment systems, as you'll see in their Dynamic Handgun 2 video. What they require are three pretty specific modifications, and Raven has actually added that as an option that anyone can get, calling it the MD Cut. The first of which is going to be a neutral cant. Uh, Raven typically has a 10 degree forward cant on their holsters. However, when you order it with the Magpul cut, part of that is going to include a straight drop, straight up and down, because the Magpul Dynamic guys typically carry at a 3 o'clock or slightly forward at a 3 o'clock position. The second is going to be a reduced body shield. If you look at their typical holsters, you'll see that the body shield comes all the way to the top and covers the gun. However, on this one that does have the Magpul Dynamics cut, you'll see that it's shaved off. Part of that is, again, to help facilitate a grip. You don't have any of the shield getting into the grip. As here, you can see your thumb rest on top of it. If you're going to be carrying in an outside the waistband or a, a non-concealed type of carry, this may be a better option for you because it's going to facilitate a quicker draw, um, or as you were, a quicker grip, not necessarily a quicker draw. Um, however, here, if you are going to be carrying in the waistband or some type of concealment, this is obviously going to protect your, your body and your gun from your body, from sweat. It's a sweat guard. The third and final mod is going to be uh, clip corners. If you look on the Magpul Dynamics cut, you'll see that this corner and this corner is clipped. As on here, it's just slightly rounded here, whereas it's not clipped here. Again, being that they carry it in a slightly forward position, it's going to help to not interfere with your leg as much during movement, more so on the magazine carriers. I don't have a non-Magpul Dynamic cut to show you, but you can see a pretty drastic cut right here. Again, being that it's worn slightly forward, that's going to allow you to come up and not get poked in the leg quite as much. Unless you request otherwise, they're going to come with the Kydex belt loops. What I highly recommend is that you first off order an additional set of these because again, while this is Kydex and it's very durable, repeated use, if you use it and wear it like you're supposed to, eventually just the stresses of taking it on and taking it off, these are going to fail at some point. So just have an extra set of them on hand. I also, they're very cheap. I recommend you get a, a pair of the inside the waistband belt loops. And likewise, as you can see, these I've been carrying for a few months. 
um, and they're already getting a little bit of wear from constantly moving and more so from my belt rubbing on it as I carry it. But again, if one of these pops or breaks or tears, just swap it out with another one. It's user changeable. Just remove the screw, set it for the length depending on your belt width. Um, there's several holes in here depending on your belt width and then you're good to go. And this is going to be the Raven Concealment Phantom and Phantom LC line. I highly advise you give those guys a call if you're in the market for any type of Kydex concealment or outside the waistband type carry. They also carry a full line of handcuff cases, uh, other magazine carriage systems, also other Kydex products that you probably wouldn't think of. So check out their website. Also be advised that right now there's probably about a two month wait. So get those orders in. All the instructions for ordering are located on their website. Till next time, be vigilant, be prepared, and be safe.